Hey Dutch here, in today's video I'm going to show you guys my walk-in cooler. Um, I made a video of it last year, but I've got a lot more subscribers this year. Um, there may be some of you guys aren't familiar with it. Um, I've been posting several videos on a, um, getting our haul back from the processor, and a lot of people comment why, why I don't process myself. And uh, there, what, there was one lady, um, I think it was a lady, she was talking about um, you got to have a cool storage and all that stuff, and she's absolutely right. And uh, I don't think she's familiar uh, with my, my, uh, my walk-in cooler. And uh, I just want to show uh, show you guys. She'll probably end up watching this, so uh, it might be an, an idea for her and some other people who who want to process themselves but uh, don't have a setup for it. Um, this thing was relatively inexpensive for a walk-in cooler. I got about fifteen hundred dollars in it, and uh, I didn't spend all the money at once. I bought I bought a little bit um, each time. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys, uh, just because there's some of you guys that probably aren't familiar with it. Hey guys, just a quick warning. I got a deer hanging up in here, so if you don't want to see a dead carcass of a doe, you might uh, click off this video right now. All right, guys. You can see it's uh, 29 degrees in here. Zoom in on that. It just went up to 40. That part right, right there is the room temperature, and over there on that side is uh, how cold the uh, air conditioner is blowing out. Right there. Okay, guys, you can see this building seven by seven. We actually have a, a deer hanging in there. We got a doe uh, that I got hanging. It's been hanging in here for about two days now. We'll let it hang a couple more days, and then, then we'll go ahead and process it out. But right here, I got a, a, just a regular old window unit. Um, a lot of people are like, a window unit can get that, that cold. Well, down here below me, I have a thing called a cool bot. Now, this is an old, an old uh, system of cool bot. They've upgraded it, but it's still working the, It's still working like brand new, and I've had it for about six or seven years now. Um, I'll give you a quick little glance inside here. Uh, and that'll be it guys. That's the cool bot. It's 57 and a half. When you open the door it cools way it uh, warms way way back up. Like I said, it's just a regular window unit. We uh might insulate this with uh four inch thick styrofoam two uh stack two in uh, they're two inches a piece I stack two of them on top of each other all the way throughout the floor. Underneath the floor, it's uh, it's got four inches of styrofoam. Also, I've got some deer right there, just sitting in some baggies, um, just to just to chill for a few days, just to age a few days inside there. And here's the doe we got. We gotta finish clean her. We made we made this. Me, and my father actually, uh, he helped me make this this frame right here. Framed it up. And I have styrofoam that goes on the door. It just kind of came off. Okay, guys, there you go. There you have, that's the walk-in cooler. Um, I bought the building over at Lowe's for like $600. Um, everything else, the air conditioner is three. The cool bot's $300. Um, all together, I got right at $1,500. Um, not bad for walk-in cooler. I don't know if you guys ever priced a walk-in cooler, but that's pretty, that's pretty good deal. But yeah, I just wanted to show that with you guys because you can use this not just for deer. You can hang your pigs, your sheep, your goats. Um, even you could probably couldn't hang a cow in there. They're so heavy, but you could probably set it up where uh, you can get some support brackets in there and, and hang half of one up. I don't know, but uh, yeah, this is a good way to, to uh, age your um, age your uh, meat for several days. Um, I usually leave deer anywhere from three to four days. I've let them in there for like nine days um, age. I know they leave cows, uh, steers, and stuff like that in for like 14 days, but they got a lot more fat uh, than than these lean deer do. So I don't recommend leaving the deer in there for. For a very long time like i said on average three four days is what we leave them in there um that that little machine down there is called the cool bot they've actually put my last video on their website i think it's like coolbot.com uh, but all right guys um that's that's all i have for you today um uh, a really uh in, 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 relatively inexpensive way uh to aid your meat you know cool your animals down if, you, if you're going to process yourself so we're one step close to processing um our own uh our own hogs and stuff uh, just right now we just don't have the cleaning station and all that it wouldn't take a whole lot to do it but um we really don't have the time in, in uh in the stuff to do it with uh so yeah i just want to share with you guys um also, hey, if you guys get a chance, uh, Hayden came out here. She want to give want me to give her a little shout out for her channel. Uh, she's got a channel called Hayden's Place. Uh, she just puts uh, just everything she does: uh, jujitsu, uh, gardening, taking care of the chickens, the sheep, and all that. If you guys get a chance, go check her out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, don't forget to uh, to subscribe to my channel and Hayden's Place, and uh, hit that like button if you would, and uh, hit that little bell for notifications. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.